Hey, my throat's still a little messed up, so I'm gonna keep this short, but this is the Berseria demo on PC. I know uh, people are going to be asking about this a lot because, uh, you know, the Zestiria port was not bad, but, you know, it had the 30 FPS lock and a bunch of other things that the community had to fix. Uh, this port worked perfectly for me out of the box. I did upgrade my video card, so I can't say uh, how well it runs on, you know, lower end cards. I'm pretty sure if I popped my 750 Ti back in, I could probably max this game and have uh, very little adverse effects. As you can see, I have pretty much everything maxed out right now. Uh, I haven't really touched some of this other stuff. I felt like it wouldn't really matter much. I don't really care <laughs> how far the, the draw distance is on the, on the grass. I know some people do. But I turned off uh, some of the things like the reduced animations. I'm sure you remember on uh, Zestiria, like the enemies would, be, would go at like 20 or 30 FPS if you were far away from them to, I guess, preserve the frame rate or whatever. I've turned that off. I've turned pretty much everything on or at max and it runs fine. Controller, uh, the controller as you can see it picks up as a generic uh, it, as a generic controller with my PS4 pad. Uh, it doesn't seem like you can get PS4 button icons which is pretty annoying but I'm pretty sure someone will have a mod for that uh, probably when the game comes out. You can even change uh, the button mapping if you want to. Now, the game does have Denuvo, just like God Eater, so I don't know how much that's going to affect modding. Uh, I know uh, Clip is getting the game on PC because he's going to use the cheat engine table to, <laughs> to mess around with the game and start doing solo runs and stuff. So, it should be fine. Uh, I know that there is a pretty extensive cheat engine table for both God Eater games on Steam, and uh, that has Denuvo as well. So, uh, if that's what you're worried about, uh, that won't be an issue. Uh, in terms of mods and stuff, I really don't know how the Denuvo uh, DRM is going to affect that. So, uh, if you're looking for mods or you have a problem with the game and you're waiting for an external mod from uh, Kai Dalen or whatever his name is, uh, I guess you'll have to wait and see. I don't really know uh, what the compatibility is going to be with that. So I'm just going to do a few battles here. Uh, I already put up a playthrough of this earlier, so I'll just show how nice it looks. I'll do like three battles. I'll do a couple uh, battles to compensate for that. Obviously, it's not the full game, so all your settings and stuff are
切り捨てごめん。So if you want to know、uh, what I'm running the game on, I'm running it on a 1050 Ti, an i5, 3750K, and 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM. So you don't need a beast computer.、Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure I could put my、uh, 1050 Ti and probably get some better performance. So, if you haven't played this yet,、uh, the main difference from the other Art Tree battle systems is that you have full customization over the arts, which is、uh, something that we've all wanted for a long time.、Uh, the biggest problem with the Art Tree system has always been、uh, either having to dodge offset or just mash to get to the move that you want to use. Now, the ones at the bottom are all, you can make them have it be random, or you can have it be the way it is now, where,、uh, you know, you can put one thing at the bottom here, and you'll always have access to it.、Uh, this is a bit of a spoiler, but later on in the game, I don't know exactly when because I haven't really played this before, but you get an arts ball, and you get、uh, access to four moves,、uh, you know, whenever you want. So I guess once you get to that point of the game, you can add another、uh, combo chain down here. So it's,、uh, it's pretty flexible. I'll do like two more battles. You don't want Kim Mosdazo! Be careful! どうやら肩がついた刀のサビにしてやるぜ砲が中弱くすだけ剣を使うのは強剣のどこだ食らいつくせどこだ食らいつくせスイハーカッサッツブレイクブーストその程度で砲が中スイハー The moves have been missing in action for a couple of games now. I'm gonna go ahead and stop there because I've already、uh, been over all this, but I didn't use the mic last time. The game is fun. I'm already enjoying it a lot more than z e s t e r i a z e s t e r i a has been a slog to get through. This feels like、uh, a game that we should have gotten with z e s t e r i a I know z e s t e r i a had a lot of,、uh, I guess, development troubles and stuff like that. This game feels like the game that they wanted to make in the first place. I like the battle system.、Uh, if you do play the demo and you feel overwhelmed, Uh, you don't have to worry about that. Like most Tales games have、uh, lots of mechanics. That's what sets these apart from other JRPGs. You know, most, most of them are still using turn based combat or something.、Uh, at the very least,、uh, a lot less complex than this.、Uh, you will get、uh, you know, introduced to the new mechanics slowly.、Uh, here, they're pretty much dumping you in the middle of the game with pretty much all the base mechanics at the start. And that's why it feels a little bit overwhelming. 
you know, Tales games, uh, even this one for like the veterans and stuff like me, Clip, Squillow, and Omega, uh, we all had a pretty steep learning curve on this game, at least from what I remember when this came out in Japan. Uh, they played this game back when it came out. I actually skipped it because I knew that I wanted something to play in a new year, and I'm <laughs> definitely right about that because there's not really a whole lot in these first few months of the year that I'm really interested in getting that I haven't played before. Uh, they had a pretty difficult time learning how to play it too. Uh, you know, they did change uh, a lot of the things that we take for granted in Tales games. There are no directional arts. The art trees are completely customizable, so uh, people are going to have uh, more diverse playstyles in this compared to uh, the other two art tree games where things are pretty stagnant. There weren't really a whole lot of different ways that you could play the game. I'm sure you watch my crappy low level Zestiria play is not that much different from people that have put that much, you know, way more time into it simply because you know, the art tree definitely stifles creativity and stuff like that. Uh, here you have uh, a lot more individuality in terms of how you play and stuff like that. So I'll be playing this uh, quite a bit. I I've already paid for it. Like I said, I don't know if you guys watched the Sarah video where I announced that, but I've already got it paid off. So the moment that it's available, uh, I'll be switching over to that. So in the meantime, I will be playing uh, Zestiria. I'll try to get at least mostly through the game before this comes out. If I finish, if I continue to finish uh, anywhere from two to four bosses a day, I should be able to do that. But yeah, the port runs great. There are some people having problems, but I'm sure that they will be patched. I've seen uh, far more people uh, having good experiences with it than bad ones, which is, uh, it's good that they're doing this demo. They're obviously trying to get some goodwill for putting the Denuvo DRM in there. <laughs> I hope that the DRM will not affect mods and stuff like that. Uh, the game still does need some improvements. Uh, I know one thing that they said on the, the press release or the announcement that they made uh, a couple days ago is that the 4K is upscaled. Apparently the 4K resolution is not upscaled. Uh, I only have a, a 1080p monitor so I can't even comment on that to begin with but apparently it's not upscaled. It's like a native resolution from what I hear anyway so uh, if that bothers you that won't be a problem either and I, like I said um, people have been running it at the max resolution at 60 FPS on like a, a 970 which is uh, a couple years old card now so performance shouldn't be an issue uh, there are some people having some random performance issues but I'm sure that those will get patched out sooner or later and if not then uh, the fan mod should fix it anyway uh, catch you guys later <laughs> it's gonna be hard to go back to Zestiria after playing this demo for like an hour but uh, I'm gonna do it I, it's like the only Tales game or recent Tales game I have not finished it's the only one I've also backlogged so I want to get uh, a little farther through it so that I have more of a, an honest opinion towards it and then uh, I definitely will appreciate this a lot more once I get to that point. Anyway, catch you guys later. Peace.